repair shop, it costs around a hundred dollar. Ah, oh, shoot! Look like we got evidence so far. Hey, man, get up! You better get off my crime scene, man. Hey, what you doing, man? Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another LSPDFR episode. You guys already know what time it is, man. But today we'll get a chance to do something you guys haven't seen in a while, man. It's been so long since we did Detective, and uh, today we do have a case. We do have multiple case, but we're going to be out of town. We're all the way in Polito Bay since we have to solve this murder case. Now, this is my first time trying out this call out, so we're going to ch check it out and see how everything's going to turn out, man. Uh, today we're gonna be driving this unmarked charger, and as you guys can see, we are ready to go, man. I am out of town. I'm, I'm supposed to be back in town pretty soon, but we're ready. And the lights, you guys already know. All right, so let's go. Our first murder case. Let's go. And uh, as far as information, detective at a murder case required. That's all we got. Is on 3030 Sonora Freeway, and we are heading that way. Actually, let's head over there, code, code two. And I hope you guys are having a great Saturday, or whenever you guys are watching this. I know it's been a while since we we did solve a case, so uh, let's see how everything's gonna turn out. Sonora 3030 Sonora, is it by that bar? We gotta check it out. I don't know what to expect. But detective is always uh, just like I said, man. Whenever we get call off calls like that, especially SWAT too, we'll do whatever we can, man. And it's great to have a call out like that again. And uh, we're gonna see how everything is gonna turn out. Right now, we are heading to our first case. We are out of town, man. If you, I mean, all the time that happened, of course, uh, where detective have to go to another state to solve a case, and. Uh, Right now, we're gonna be the lead detective, and uh, yeah, let's see how everything's gonna turn out. Oh, is that the, is that the store? I oh, don't know. I'm here. All right. I guess we got We just gotta make contact. I'll uh, park right here. I guess they keeping it quiet. Everybody got their light off. All right. So I'm guessing she's the lead. Um, probably the Sarge. All right, let's go talk to her real quick. Let's see what's going on. All right, go to the officer and talk and talk using why. Okay. Uh, hello, detective. Glad you are here. We have a dead person to my right and two possible suspects. Okay. Please go to the crime scene to my right and investigate. See if you can find something. Okay. That sounds good. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, since we are investigating guys, we have a dead suspect to her right. She say somewhere over there. Hey man, hey, 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 yo, 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 yo. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. This is a crime scene, man. And this is one thing we're gonna have to do. This is a crime scene. You all interfering with my crime scene right now. Either you stop right here or get out of here, man. I, you know, I hate to stop everything on this side, but we're gonna have to. All right, so we're gonna change. Uh, we're gonna put our glove on, Detective Thirteen, and let's go. Let's go investigate, man. You know why this guy decided to drive over here? That's a nice SS, though, man. Nice car. You gotta maintain these things, man. All right. Oh, okay. So just like she say, is to her right. I was thinking about my right. All right. So first. Uh, thing that we have a fresh empty bottle of liquor. I wonder if it even belonged to the victim. Yeah, it could be something from over here. All right, what else? We got the victim. The wound appeared to be multiple stab wound to the neck, belly and back. Okay. And what do we have over here? Uh, some chips. Somebody recently has eaten those. <laughs> Uh, go to the suspect and talk to him using why. All right. So far, just like they say, they have this suspect. I don't know, man. Just like I say, we're going to investigate anything else that might be possible. We got a call over here. 
Um, so far, let's uh, let's also search the victim pocket and all that. You know, we are investigating. Detective work takes time. I mean, you have to see everything. We found some C stuff, rusty spoon. So look like you know he's he's one of those guys. Okay, and uh, is it? Is it his name? I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be related, but so far we find an ID of Fred Bellick <laughs> in his pocket. Um, I got a Porsche park over here. Let's also get the plate um, plate with dispatch. See if it belongs to him. Target vehicle license plate 05 Adam Young David 661 a traffic violation. Right. I don't caution. care if it's not registered. All right, uh, let's talk to the first. Um, is it witness or suspect? I think this, these are the suspects. So compare between the two, who stabbed them? I don't know why we don't have more units over here because this is a crime scene, bro. All right, hi, I'm the um, I'm the detective in this case. May I ask you some questions? Howdy, yeah. Uh, don't. Don't be shy. <laughs> and he left. Okay. Uh, you appear intoxicated. How much do you have? Um, did you did you have to drink? I haven't had anything. Not even a drop. So it looked like we we found who might drop that bottle over there, guys. Please take this seriously. What are you? What are you working as? Sure, I'm a hunter. I have a forest not sure f um far from here. Not too far from here. Okay. Do you eat chips as often as I do? Yeah, I love chips. I always eat them. I just ate a pack. <laughs> Bro, this guy's giving us everything that we need. We finished with questioning. I'll let you know how we can how we can actually continue. Alright, we're done with questioning um this guy over here. But um, don't leave though. You are being detained at this point. All right. All right, man. So uh, I have a couple. Um, I'm the I'm the detective in this case. I have a few questions for you. I'm so nervous. I haven't got anything to do with this. Don't worry. You're fine. What kind of alcohol? Or what kind of alcohol do you drink? I drink alcohol as good as never. And if I do, maybe a glass of wine, a red wine. Do you eat chips sometimes? No. I live a healthy lifestyle. I do a lot of sport too. That will be all. Thanks for your time. All right, so I'm guessing. Okay, so based on the evidence right now, you already know what we're guessing. The guy with the chips, the guy that drinks, we find two evidence over there. We haven't found the um, murder weapon. So, you know, that include like, you know, if we find it, we're going to have to get some fingerprint off of it, you know, here and there. But let's find out what I mean. This is this is my case, but at the same time, this is a, a call where we just have to go along with whatever that's going on right now. All right, so um, let's talk to the officer in charge. Uh, could you find out based on evidence and talking to um, talking who the murder is? Yes, I think the murder is. Uh, uh, that was Jemison Fisher. Yeah, that was number two. Jimerson Fisher, I think that was the first guy. Oh. Oh, somebody crashing over there. All right. Go ahead and arrest the suspect. All right. Shoot. I guess this is pretty bro, but you know we know what I like about this? This is progress. This is pretty simple. This is straightforward. You know how we go a little bit wait, wait, wait what was that? You saw as I passed by over here. Some pop up. Oh, pick up the jerry can. 
All right, man. Just like I say, you are being the team. Um, based on the information that we have right now, I have to place you under arrest. So turn around, put your hands behind your back. Turn around, put your hands behind. Oh my goodness! All right, he's running. He's running, guys. Not me and the. Sir, stop! Oh my goodness! When stop the pet need to work. All right, can we get um? Oh my goodness! I don't messed up this case now. Can we, can we get paramedic over here, please? All right, guys. So we got Fisher, and uh, I'm guessing this is the end of this case so far. So everybody just started leaving as soon as I got them. And uh, yeah, we'll let traffic go. So this is gonna be our first detective case. Just like I say, man, this is work in progress. By work in progress, I mean like this is the start of something great. And uh, I can't wait until we can actually go a little bit deeper when it comes to like um, these type of investigation. But just like I say, that was our first case. Dispatch should know that we all good. And uh, all right, guys, so we are back in the city already. That was that was a pretty easy call, though, man. We were able to solve the case on site. And you know, when we are able to solve cases like that, I can't wait to see the progress of this call out, though. But right now, uh, as we are texting back and forth uh, with one of the officers, we just found out that we do have a case and uh, Right now, it's going to be at Mirror Park, as you guys can see on the map. And uh, we are heading that way. And uh, let's see how everything's going to turn out. But the first case, bro, no paperwork. No, none of that. Like, we done. We are done. That guy's going down for murder. And uh, that's about it. And right now, hopefully, um, I can actually stop the person without having to chase them down. But um, yeah, we'll see. We got officers. On the street, like, oh, okay. I was about to say they were just waiting for the light. All right, so guys, just like I said, second case for the day. Let's go over there. We're going to Mirror Park. And most likely, this might be a domestic one because I mean, this is a residential area, unless it like is around the mechanic place. But this is our second case for the day. Can't believe the first one was so easy. But I'm pretty sure sooner or later, these things would have it's gonna be updated. I want more detail, bro. Like more detail, like you know, have uh, us having to really do like a little bit. Oh shoot, it's at the park, bro. You know, oh man. Okay, let's hope this one is a little bit more. But this is our second case so far. Put myself on the sidewalk. And a little bit more officers on the scene. I think that would be pretty cool. All right, so I'm guessing Park Ranger got this one. No, just a uh, just a uh, uh, deputy. Oh, we got actually got more people on this one. All right, what's going on? I see I see the lady over there. I'm guessing he's the officer. Hello, detective. My name is Jack Walter. Just uh, call me Jack. I hope traffic wasn't too bad. Okay, Jack. Uh, good day. No, it was okay. What do we got here? Uh, we have a dead person, possible, possibly murder. Officer Dawson over there um, have some more info. Okay. On the other side, we have three possible suspects. One of them is the caller. <laughs> Thanks. I will talk to Officer Dawson um, then. I like this, bro. I'm I'm loving this right now. We need more callouts like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> These guys over there. All right, we got we got the we got the um the murder suspect over there, and uh, we got three suspect actually. All right, let's find out what's what's happening. Hey, Officer Dawson, uh, I'm Officer Walter. Say you have um Officer Walter. Say you have more info. Uh, good day, Detective. You can call me Erica. Okay. The victim is Liliana White. Um, uh, Wyatt. 33 year old have lived. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to see. Okay, so let's just say we have those info. Yeah, we have three possible suspects for a potential murder. One of them, Belle Hamilton, is the caller, but she also could be the potential murder. Okay, I suggest you go to the crime scene and investigate, see if you can find anything. All right, thank you. Uh, she did say something. I just want to verify real quick. Oh, it was in here. 
followed but she could be okay um 33 year old had to live in uh nicola avenue nearby okay here yeah. uh information that i don't really need like that but um as you guys can see we got more evidence on this one what is this right here uh a mobile phone the background show a black covey tailgater okay we got a car okay somebody like cars so far what is this uh, the blood stain, the blood look, the blood look fresh. It must happen not longer than two hours ago. That's a good. That's a good sign so far. All right, she has a wound, um, wound um to her head. She got hit um with that broken bottle over there. Okay, so oh, we found the uh, the murder weapon already. Mm, a half eaten burger. Not interesting. <laughs> All right, go to the caller and talk to her. All right, so she called. All right, so she was doing that call now on one, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna figure out what's going on. Just like I said, I'm excited for calls like like that because uh, we have room for so much more, man. All right, what's happening? You know, these could be at different location instead of just right here. Hello there, I'm the detective in this case. Uh, what's your name? Uh, good evening. My name is Belle Hamilton, and uh, I was walking down the street when I saw her. Uh, you did the right thing by calling us. I'm quickly um, checking your detail. Dispatch, can I have uh, a person check on Belle Hamilton, please? All right, stand by. They checking right now. Edmonton, no warrants, no arrests. Citation for she got a citation for speeding. I think we should be good on Bell. All right, uh, your record is clean. I still have some questions for you. Do you know the victim? No, I don't. Imagine the family members, how they must feel. Well, take care of them. Uh, may I please see your mobile phone? Show mobile phone here, but ha, huh, there's a private photo of me. I can't give it, give it away. You can't keep it. Uh, what vehicle do you drive, and what is the license plate? I drive a Lampadity <laughs> Pagali license plate. Okay, I don't really care for that. Dispatch. I need a vehicle check on a. Let me see. Still trying to get all these info from dispatch. You know we do everything by phones now. Oh, she got expired insurance. Who cares? All right, but your vehicle has, has an expi has an expired insurance. You should renew it. Okay, thanks. I don't know that. I will do that. Well, you, she didn't know. I didn't know that. I will do it. Okay. Oh, that will be all. Please wait for further instruction. Okay. All right. We got that so far, guys. All right, let's talk to this dude right over here. All right, buddy. Let me see. All right, so um, good evening, sir. I'm the local detective. May I have your name, please? Hello, detective. My name is uh, Talon Knife. Um, born 12 December 1992. Why am I being held here? Uh, you were in the area as this happened. That's against my will. Let me go. I haven't done anything. Once you answer my questions, you can. Where do you live? I live nearby, two blocks away. And do you know the victim? No. You live near the victim, and you will tell me you don't know Liliana White? Okay, I know her. Oh, you're lying to me already. I just don't like her. She wasn't very friendly, nor active, and uh, all like in our neighborhood, in the neighborhood. She once called the cops on me because my dog was barking a few times shortly after 10 p.m. Mm, okay. Can you show me your cell phone, please? I would like to, but I dropped it last week and gave it to a repair shop. It cost around $100. Ah, oh, shoot. Look like we got evidence so far. Hey, man, get you better get off my crime scene, man. Hey, what you doing, man? Get off my crime scene, man. What's wrong with you? 
Oh, we are taking pictures. Are we seeing people do that? I don't know why these officers let these guys hang out over here. All right, back to you, man. Sorry, sorry about that. Back to you. All right, what you were saying? Uh, understood. What vehicle do you drive, and what is the license plate? I have a vapid minivan. My license plate is ha. Uh, okay, yeah, some of the information. Dispatch. I need a plate check on. Uh, let's see. I don't need to read the plate. That's why I just disregard. All right, minivan uh, vehicle register four months ago. Okay. All right, dispatch. Check the name uh, to lawn knife for me, please. I right, dispatch. I say uh, you only have uh, parking on the wrong side of the street. Okay. No rest. Your record look clean. Once I'm finished, I will come back to you. All right. All right, so another thing too, I just realized about this crime scene. You see like how people are walking around. I'm going to do it because um I don't want nobody on my crime scene. But this is something or at least for the person that created these callouts. You know, we have things like that. The crime scene where the dog won't be coming to my crime scene it's messing with the blood. Totally. It's like these guys. Ah, oh, I forgot to update this. As you guys can see, man, I'm enjoying this. The fact that we we have call outs like that. Well, I just got my third black belt. <laughs> he just got his first degree. Oh, his third degree black belt. All right, oh, we ready to hurt somebody. Um, shift G. All right, I had the one that was different. I'm gonna get these guys to move because this is my crime scene, bro. Nobody needs to be in you guys um conversation, bro. Just like I said, this is on my crime scene. This is why I'm I got mad at that guy, man. Oh my evidence all over here. All right. Nobody won't cross the, these paths anymore. Uh let's go talk to the last lady. Um these guys need to move. All right, guys. I don't know what y'all gotta do, man. All right, both of y'all, man, get out of here. So nobody want to hear that. This is a crime scene. Shit. You too, buddy. Oh, they all oh, get. They kind of glitch in a way. I'm just trying to get them to move on. Next time you're going downtown. Oh. Hello. All right, let's talk to this lady. Looks like I said this is my crime scene. Yo, dude, walk away, man. Shoot. All right. All right, man. So, sorry, sorry for the inconvenience. Um, uh, what's going? Uh, hello, miss. I'm detective. I'm the detective in this case, bro. Are you serious, bro? Bro, you need to move, man. Wait, is the bar not over there? Oh, he was standing like right, right before it. But what is up with people, man? Yo, yo, back up, man. Yo, you're not doing your job, man. We need more officers. This is why we need more officers on the scene. This is a crime scene. Nobody should be able to take pictures of the body, bro. All right. Um. All right. Back to you, man. Sorry about that. Uh, Dispatch, can I have the name for Nia, Nia Nilla Lane? I get some more info from dispatch. Uh parking um and disable. Okay. I don't know why those those information don't really matter. Alright, sounds good. Where do you live? I live in uh in Vinewood Hills. I have a flat there. Okay. Wow, that's a nice place to live. Can I see your cell phone please? Yeah, sure. It's my oh shh. Uh where it is? Maybe I left it in my car then. Oh, I hope so. So, what kind of car do you drive? Uh, I drive a Grady Stinger. Yeah. What? Okay. With license plate. Uh, I don't know. 
You don't know the license plates of your own vehicle. Yeah, I mean, it's complicated. Whatever. Dispatch, I need a plate check on a Grady Stinger. Owner is Nila, Nila Lane. All right. Dispatch is getting the info for me. Yo, dude, move on, man. No result on this combination. Let me check the owner. I found a different vehicle on the owner. Ah, uh, shoot. We found our murder. Yep. The tailgater, remember? We the, the one we found on the cell phone. It's crazy how this information. Interesting. Miss, why did you lie about your vehicle? What do you mean? I mean, I have two vehicles. Or do I? <laughs> Very funny. Did you lie about your phone too? Have you found it nearby? Is that why you're asking? Uh, what's your relationship to the victim? She's my cousin and she owes me money. Ah, oh, shoot. She shot her because she owes her money, bro. I mean, she um, hit her with the bottle. Is that why you murdered her? I only drove to her house to confront her about the debt. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation. I'll come back to you. Don't leave. Don't move either. All right. Mm, from from what we seeing right now, I guess let's 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 take our pictures. I mean, I feel like we already found we already found what's going on, bro. All right, that's she got hit to the um to the head with a bottle or something like that, and uh, I feel like we got a case now. We already got our picture. Yeah. So far, guys, I feel like we got a case. Uh, we're gonna talk to the detective. I feel like this lady murdered her because she owed her some money. <laughs> you better have my money. All right. She probably was selling her. You better have my money. And you know, that lady probably was like, man, I don't got it right now. You get it when I get it. All right. All right. I searched the crime scene and talk to the suspects. And could you find out who the murderer is? Yeah, we're going to go with um, the third suspect. Yes, yeah, Nila, Nila, the lady right back there behind me. Miss Lane was around as it happened and is is related to the victim. She lied about her vehicle and her cell phone, which I found over there. Her cell phone showed her vehicle. She lost. She lost it on the scene. She's the murder. Oh, I see. Go ahead and arrest her. All right. Okay, let's hope this one. You know what? I'm gonna arrest her with my weapon, because I want this to go as smooth as possible compared to the last one. You know, the first scene. All right, Nila. All right. Put your hands behind your back. You under arrest? LSPD. Now get on the ground. Will kill you. Get on the ground. I'm doing this the opposite way. You know, there's. I usually do this a different way. But I don't want to leave the room for them running or anything like that and mess up my scene. Suspect apprehended. All right, clean up. Oh, that's it. So that was it. That was it. All right, everybody else is good. Uh, we got to clean up the scene. Let's let's get a well, I guess let's get a supervisor over here. These officers were not supposed to leave like that. And let's get corner to our location. All right, corners on the way. Um, I guess I could let. Hey, man, move! You better not take no pictures, too. Bro, everybody be tripping on this scene, bro. All right, thank you guys for your cooperation, man. All right, uh, yeah, she's 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 the murder. She did it. All right, she's all yours. How this guy dog got bro? Everybody getting on my scene, bro. Alright, they got her. Alright, that's the officer that's here to pick him up. Alright, supervisor, thank you, man. You you socialist. All right, guys, that was our second case. 
I don't know how long it took, but we're gonna revise all of this. We we had two cases for today. You guys let me know. Just like I said, this is a new call out. Uh, bear with us, of course. I'm I'm happy we have something like that. Detective is back. Um, two two call out so far, and uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy these. Let's clear the scene though. Let's clear the scene since uh, corner already got the body evidence and all that. Oh man, what a case! Hey, buddy, you thought you was about to go to jail, huh? It wasn't. It wasn't that easy. All right, but you're gonna be okay, man. You're gonna be okay. Uh, wait, why my supervisor? Oh, my supervisor's gonna tag along with me. But yeah, man, this is gonna have to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this, though, man. You guys already know how we do. But another detective case. So we did solve the murder case and uh, actually two case. And uh, yeah, spam that like button if you guys want to see more like this. But this is what we have for now. And uh, definitely, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.